Namvila Mokanyan, new environmental minister has a history of failure. South Africa has a new minister for environmental affairs, and it's a name that perhaps lives in notoriety rather than anything else. Namvila Mokanyan isn't exactly the public's favorite serving minister, and plenty of South Africans have been quick to denounce her latest career move. Sali Malatsi is the official spokesperson for the DA. He told Nka that Mokan Yen is in the same boat as Badabal Dimani, the former SIS minister who has been blasted for overt corruption and general incompetence during her time in the cabinet. The fact she, Mokan Yen, remains in parliament shows that the president is weakened. He's just shifting people, recycling the same liars over and over again. There are no decisive actions against Lemony or Mokan Yen. It shows there is no consequence for failure. Cabinet reshuffle, who is Nambula Mokanyane? It wasn't just politicians venting their anger over the appointment, though. Social media users were left deflated with the fact that our green issues are in the hands of someone with a history of departmental failure. Kasatu also described the changes as not good, and, it's, not going to solve much. The verdict is pretty much unanimous on this one. But what is it about Mokan Yen that's got so many people frustrated? Nambula Mokan, her time in cabinet, well, her four-year stint in charge of the water and sanitation department was pretty tragic. After taking on the role in 2014, the department was bankrupt just two years later. Disasters such as the Jayani and Val debacles, where massive regions were left without clean water, have also been laid at her door. With regards to Jayani, Dombula Mokanyan made a series of errors that could have been described as comical, had they not been so serious. She failed to observe correct tender processes when awarding pipeline contracts to companies offering to sort out the mess. Costs spiraled to almost our 1 BN, but that figure may rise sevenfold. She was blamed for chronic mismanagement but managed to hold on to her position until 2018. Mo Kin Yen was removed from the department, but it would only be a sideways departure. The ANC politician was then put in charge of communications, with limited success. What other scandals has Nam Vila Mo Kin Yen been involved in? With just nine months in the role, there wasn't much Mo Kin Yen could do positively or negatively, to effect change. Given that the hopeless situation with Sabk was on her remit in this time, the situation perhaps didn't suit either party. The minister has also been accused of profiting from illegal benefits given out by Bozasa. The security facilities company are linked to some very dodgy deals, and Mo Kanyan's name is inextricably linked. So, there we have it. Our new environmental minister is someone with two water management disasters to her name. Cyril Ramaphosa is obviously operating on the third time's a charm mantra.